Oh, we, I think we're gonna drop down on this guy. Oh God! Oh God! Okay, get him! Get him! Punch him in the butt! What's happening? Oh, it's a struggle! Boom! Okay, so that was like the sloppiest way ever to kill a guard. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and we are not watching a movie today, guys. Today, we're hopping into the Universal Studios classic known as the Chronic What Coles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. This is uh, a game that came out. Oh, what the hell was wrong with that guy's head? Oh, God. Oh, there's babies. They're researching on babies, taking the blood of babies. What is happening? Um, this game is based on the cinematic universe of the Chronicles of Riddick and what was it perfect dark or pitch black or whatever the series was that first introduced us to Vin Diesel's character came up back in the day when everyone loved Vin Diesel not that people don't like him now but just I feel like Vin Diesel's kind of time in the spotlight is faded he's not as prominent anymore these days in movies for a while he was in like triple x and fast and the furious and people were just like nuts about him um, now, I don't usually jump on this sort of, like, these hype trains, the, these things that kind of look like fads, and, like, honestly, the Chronicles of Riddick kind of seemed a bit like one. Um, and this game was a movie tie-in, and, ugh, I mean, movie tie-in games, has there ever been a good one? But I have heard, I have heard, friends I know told me that this game was good, and I was too stubborn back in the day to try it, and now, because I'm on the quest that I'm on, the book is beckoning me to give this game a shot, and so, what the hell, let's go ahead and do it. The Chronicles of Riddick, Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. Um, let's see what this game universe is all about. Oh, that's an interesting kind of uh, opening uh, title cube thing. Okay. So, uh, we have to enter our name. Um, well, nobody can be... We, we gotta be the Vin. We gotta be the Vin, the, 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 the great one here. Um, oh, this is kind of tedious. Oh, you, oh, I hate this. When you go all the way to the right and it doesn't loop back over, I hate that. That is a pet peeve of mine from all the way back in the NES days. The NES password screens would sometimes do that to you. Um, and, like, if you are at the very top and you press up, you should go to the bottom. Come on, game developers. What year was this? 2004, whatever the heck it came out. For shame for doing this to us. All right, we're going to go ahead and sign in. This cube thing is actually kind of interesting, despite the fact that uh, I have some issues with the uh, name entering screen. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start a new game here. We have easy, normal, or hard. Uh, normal, why not? I don't know. We can't We can't shame the Vin. We've, we've got to do him proud, so uh, let's do this. So I guess the idea for this game is that it's a prequel to the Chronicles of Riddick and Pitch Black. You're in a prison. You play as Vin Diesel in a prison trying to escape. And this is where... So the whole thing with Riddick from the Chronicles of Riddick and the Pitch Black movie is that he's like this hardened convict criminal and he can see in the dark. His eyes have been shined. So in Pitch Black, it was about aliens in the dark or something like that. Um, I actually don't even really remember Pitch Black. But anyway, um, he was the human who could see in the dark, and it was a whole thing, and it helped him in some way. So this is where it happened. We're going back to see him, where he gets his eyes polished, and then he can see in the dark. Um, this game is also sort of apparently a... Uh, oh, what what's happening here? Did we just kill a Yeti? Or a Wampa? Or a Tauntaun? Or whatever the hell it is? Or is that is that Vin Diesel? He's just, he's been out in the cold so long, he's more monster than man. Okay, that's definitely not Vin Diesel. Pretty sure the guy who sliced him was, though. So, I don't know what animal has the heat vision. If it's us or the, or the weird, it's probably the weird mutant, um, snow creature. God, imagine if anything that terrifying lived on Earth. What, what is that, anyway, that he's looking at? Oh, no, there's Vin Diesel, and his eyes have been shined. He can see in the dark. Oh, man, he's going all, uh... Jeez, he, he's like Tom Clancy-ing it up. Um, now, in this game, apparently, oh God, it is easy to die. So you simultaneously, so this is what intrigues me about the game. You simultaneously are playing this big, powerful, you know, beautiful man named Vin Diesel. Um, and so you're powerful and strong, but at the same time, you're vulnerable. You know, you have a sensitive side, you're vulnerable to bullets and firearms. And, and be getting stabbed in the gut. So you can die easily. So you have to, you know, you, you're strong. The dark can't protect you. 
but you gotta play tough. Interesting. I, I didn't catch what he said there. Also, is it just me, or is it weird to see Vin Diesel with hair? I mean, he's literally had the Picard look for so long that I can't imagine him with hair. It just looks wrong. These are a courtesy of a slam preacher. Got him a long time ago. Cost me 20 menthols. Okay, I guess somebody's asking him about his eyes. Um, he's got kind of a, a dark, gruff, mumbly voice. You cannot change the truth, Riddick. You cannot escape your destiny. Okay, the cave is challenging him to his destiny. Um, you know, we're going to skip this. <laughs> ah, blah, 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 he ends up in prison. Um, you know, I, I, I often debate what I should do when movies have, lo have a lot of cinematics, because I think that... Um, fans have told me that they enjoy seeing the variety of games we play together. And I sometimes feel that cinematic games, they're great when it's like you chilling and you want to take and absorb the whole story and stuff. But when we're kind of playing it together, I feel like it kind of slows the action down a bit. So it's like I don't always shut up during these cutscenes. Uh, considering I'm talking over this one right now. Um, I don't always pay attention to them. I skip them. I don't know. I mean, what do you guys, what are your thoughts on cutscenes? Would you rather... I sort of just shut my mouth more when cutscenes are coming on so you could pay attention to the game. Or do you kind of feel like, no, like I'm here to, you know, you know I enjoy listening to what you have to say, Jay. And, and yeah, you talk about the cutscenes a little bit and that's fine. Like, um, you're only sort of half paying attention to the cutscenes anyway, you know? Like, like what what's your thoughts on it? I'd be curious to know. Because um, I could always change things up a bit, you know. If you guys want to hear the cutscenes, I'm perfectly happy to let you hear them. I just find that I, I fear that it might be a little boring to just uh, shut up. <laughs> Maybe that's like the ultimate like egotistical thing to think. Like, guys, I'm so interesting. If I shut up for five seconds, you guys would just turn away. Like, I, I'm sorry that I'm so interesting. I'm sorry that I'm so intriguing. But that, that's literally, like, like maybe, maybe that's what I sound like right now. In which case, maybe I should have learned to shut up a bit. Anyway, you, can, you let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, you know, your feedback helps, helps shape what I decide to do and how I behave and so on. Um, in small ways, I guess. <laughs> I don't totally curtail my personality to what I think would please you. Anyway, I'm going off on this weird, like, narcissistical meta tangent. Let's get back to the game here. We're supposed to be analyzing Vin Diesel in this game. All right, so I am Riddick. I did not capture whatever that help bubble said. There's some people here. Johns. I can jump. Jay Johns, can you jump this high, dude? What's up? What's up? Oh, I punched Johns. And, okay, both criminals and security guard are on me now. Okay. And I'm dead. All right, well, that didn't take long. I was just trying to figure out why I this Johns. Dude. Okay, you know what? I was trying to talk to him. I don't know why I thought the trigger button would initiate conversation. I should have known it was an attack. Uh, more information from the journal. You can access the journals. Okay, so that's good. Uh, walk up to a character and press the X button to initiate dialogue. Well, that's the key piece of information I needed last time. Move the left thumbstick to choose your response and then press A to speak. All right, let's, let's give this old conversation thing a try. I've never done this before. Bear with me, Johns. You're my first intimate conversation. Hey. Don't fucking move. Oh, Johns. You're starting things off pretty aggressively. Let Johns know he should cool down or scare Johns about being ripped off by Hoxie. I, I want to be I want to be a jerk, so let's do this. Today, Johns, you get fucked. Oh, dear. You don't move until I say so. Okay. Johns is not a good person, as it turns out. Let's see what this guy has to say. Lambert. Watch the phone. Don't we'll break his fucking neck. Your warning days are over. I'll break his neck. Step back. Okay. Sneak up behind John and grab him by pulling the left trigger. While grabbing, repeatedly press the X button to silently break the neck. You can also perform an instant but louder neck break by pulling the right trigger. Oh, John's buddy. That can step back. Break his neck. Oh, yeah. There we go. That was That was the loud one. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay. New meat learns the hard way. Right. Oh, that guy got... D oh, buddy. Get in cover, man. Okay, now what did that do for me? Because I was supposed to go in the prison, but now they're not going to let me in because I totally just killed a guard. Oh, there's a door. All right. Well, I guess they are letting me in one way or the other. Help. Press the A button to jump. Okay, so I like the fact that... They're giving you the option to bring up like the help menu, but they're not forcing it down your throat. 
So I'm okay with this as the introductory, uh, as a way to sort of introduce you to the controls. I, I, I've said this many times before, I'm a big fan of these levels where the first level kind of runs you through the, the process of all the different controls that you're going to need to play the game. So if you look at, a fla at flashing objects, a focus frame appears with an object description. Focus frames also indicate character names. You can pick up the pack of smokes by walking up to it and pressing the X button. If you find or buy a pack of smokes, you'll unlock cool stuff in the extra content menu. Yeah, like, uh, cool stuff like lung cancer? Come on, man. Cigarettes? Really? What year is this? Is this like 1988 when, like, nothing mattered but cocaine and business and cigarettes? Do not feed to children. And don't make smoking cool, Chronicles of Riddick. I was expecting more from you. All right. So so uh, already we're, we're in a weird territory of promoting smoking, um, which, um, I don't know. Like, if you smoke and you enjoy smoking, good for you. I It's something that I, I would, like, never do personally. Just walked into um, the wrong place, didn't we? Oh, we're going to... Okay, I'll punch you to death then. I think this guy's a bad guy. Oh, look at all the blood of, we're splattering on the wall. Oh my god, we we literally beat that guy to death. Ooh, a security card. I don't mind if I do. Assault rifle. DNA encoded, not usable. Oh, it's like in Judge Dredd. Uh, litter? Um, yeah, I don't actually have like a hardline stance against smoking one way or the other, but it does sort of seem like something just totally unhealthy and expensive and smelly that I would just, I don't know, never do. If you smoke, good for you. Um, it, it does sort of feel like a dated thing, though. Like, maybe, again, maybe this is just me, but it feels like smoking is, uh, something that, like, I remember people doing in my, when my parents were young, when I was little, but, like, nowadays, like, smoking is becoming so infrequent that, like, it's just rare to find people who smoke anymore. I don't know. Uh, I could be totally wrong here. Um, <laughs> if you do smoke, I apologize, uh, but it's just not for me. Anyway, you can fight hand-to-hand -hand with enemies, pull the right trigger to punch, left trigger to block... Oh, we are, but we already beat him to death. Okay. So I guess left trigger was to block, and I just didn't know that at the time. It turns out I didn't need to block, though. I beat him up Mike Tyson style. All right. So now I guess we use our keypad. Uh, press, okay, press X. Bingo. 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 Okay, so in this game, your name is Richard B. Riddick. Um, I, I never knew that Riddick had a first or middle name. To be totally honest, he... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, fight him. Oh, nice. Should hide the body. Interesting. Okay, we'll take the vent tool. Uh, while in stealth, clicking the left thumbstick for stealth, you sneak. The blue screen indicates that no one can see you. Oh, so I should have snuck around. And then I could have got this guy. Gotcha. There are probably other guards around. Hide this body in the dark. Uh, okay. How do I do that? To drag a dead body, press... Okay, X seems to be the the, the B2, the, the go all button in this game. So we'll, we'll throw his body over here. I can hide the bodies here. Yeah, unless somebody walks down this hall, then they trip over him. Then they're, they're really going to realize there's a problem. Um, but anyway, yeah, it, it's kind of weird. I, like, Riddick sounds like a cool, badass name. Richard is not really... Sounds like a bit of a nerd. And Richard B. Riddick? Come on, man. Yeah. That's not intimidating. Um, I think, I like, you know, I, I'm just kind of joking. Like, his name can be whatever. But it is a little true that, like, giving him a name takes a little bit away from him. It's sort of one of those things, like, um, like it, it's the whole problem with prequels. Um, press zoom. Oh, okay. Black button zooms. All right. Oh, how do we zoom back out? How do I zoom out? <laughs> there we go. Um, it's the whole thing with sequels. Like, sometimes giving too much backstory actually takes away from a character and makes them less interesting. And when I heard this game was a prequel, I think that's another reason that I didn't play it back in the day. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of prequels. I find that prequels are often... Um, they're just big reference fests. Like, basically what happens in a prequel is you're going to see all sorts of stuff from the movie you actually liked. And, uh, to climb up, stand close to it and press X. Okay. You're going to see all sorts of things from a movie you actually liked. And you'll get to see where certain things came from. But, like, oftentimes it's the case that, like, eh, do we really care where things came from? I mean, if it's done right, 
definitely may reduce ability to listen to questions. It's interesting how cigarettes unlock stuff in this game. It's not that like every sequel is bad, but just generally, if you're comparing sequels to prequels, sequels almost always outrank prequels in my book. And so like, I'm not, I don't get super excited about prequels. You know, pre good prequels come around here and there, uh, but bad, there's lots of bad prequels as well, right? I mean, we all remember the Star Wars prequels. Um, there's some really bad prequels, I guess we could say. Uh, all right, so I guess that was just like a little bonus. Uh, some some extra dirty cigarettes we found in the, the corner of uh, some random alley. But yeah, sequels, I don't know. And like Hollywood is like seems to be obsessed with sequels, I think. Like Hollywood loves sequels and sequels are, even if there are sequels that you like, generally speaking, uh, there's probably better... There's more sequels that you enjoy than prequels. Um, that, that's my guess. Um, I don't know you. I don't want to put words in your mouth. But it's my guess. Uh, that there's more be more pre sequels that you like than prequels. And ho yet Hollywood loves making prequels. It, like to a fault. Like to the point where like they're making prequels that nobody ever asked for. And then they're confused about why they're losing money. It's, uh, it's called Stop Making So Many Prequels. Use a hangrail. Look at him. Press the X. Oh, a hangrail, you say. Okay. Oh, and there's something else. If you have an enemy standing far below, uh, you can drop down. X does everything. When in doubt, press X. So, wait. What is happening? No, don't, don't, no, don't climb down. Get up. Okay. Oh, I fell. <laughs> Okay, climb the box and then grab the hangar. Oh, he fell! What? Okay, this. What's happening right now? Okay, let's try this again. Grab. There we go. There we go. And off he goes. Boy, this game is really weird. Like, if you jump and then press X. Um, oh, we, I think we're going to drop down on this guy. If you jump and press X, it, like, doesn't work. Oh, God! Oh, God. Okay, get him. Get him. Punch him in the butt. What's happening? Oh, it's a struggle. Boom. Okay. So that was like the sloppiest way ever to kill a guard. Um, it is very smart that they DNA code these assault rifles, though, because it's a very convenient sort of game mechanic that ensures that I can't use a gun. Um, all right. So uh, getting them to shoot themselves is the only way to do it. Uh, by the way, before we kind of move on, one last thing about prequels. I think, I think, like, the coup d'etat for the reason that uh, prequels sort of, you know, uh, will never be as good as sequels is we know how they're going to end. You know, we, we know how they're going to end. Um, there's usually no surprises in prequels. They're going to end where the movie that we actually, like, began. And th I think that just takes away from movies. It's better to not know where things are going. Um, and again, not saying that every single prequel is not good, but uh, on average, if you compare sequels to prequels, you'll find a lot more interesting sequels than you will prequels in my opinion but anyway uh i digress um this game by the way as i already said so this game has vin diesel in it so i guess the legacy of this game is there was a movie called pitch black where vin diesel was an inmate who could see in the dark he had to, he was sort of an anti-hero he fought some monsters people liked him so much that they were oh guess what it's the x button um, people liked him so much that, uh, you know what happened is... Okay, are we gonna do this or what? Or maybe I don't need it? Okay, well, I, I, I thought it was X, but I guess I'm mistaken. When are we gonna use, like, Y and B? When are the other buttons coming into play? Come on, man, we're, we're on, like, level X here. Um, but I guess people liked him so much in Pitch Black, they were like, yo, this guy needs more movies. So they came up with the Chronicles the of Riddick. Disarm a guard, pull the right trigger when he tries to hit you. This requires careful timing. I'm going to sneak up behind him. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Or <laughs> careful timing or just continually pull right trigger until he does try to hit you. That's the easiest way to do it. Oh, can we get a shotgun? Maybe. Oh, we, we can. Oh, we finally have a gun. Boom. I, I didn't think this was going to happen, actually, because all the guns were DNA coded. But yes, we have a gun. See what the help says. You change your equipment, press... Oh, finally, another button! Uh, through the available weapons, pull the trigger to select. All right. So, we can go to fists, or we can go to shotgun. And we have no ammo, so I guess I guess we should be on fists. There is there really no ammo here? 
Oh, listen to this! <laughs> I've never, I've never in a game found a gun with no ammo. Well, you know, I, I appreciate that. It sort of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. Um, this game, I think, had inspiration met from Metal Gear Solid. Also, like uh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Punch Out, if you can believe it. Um, the sort of uh, melee attacks of the guards are uh, were inspired by Punch Out. Half Life also inspired this game. Uh, this game had tons of inspirations. I'm trying to think of what else. Golden Eye. That was another one. Um, Vin Diesel himself actually even helped with rewriting the script for this game a bit. When he first was brought on board, uh, he told the developers that they had uh, Riddick talking too much, and he knew the character quite a bit, and he was like, the guy wouldn't say this much. So they actually adjusted the dialogue based on Vin Diesel's input, which I think is kind of cool. I think is kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, so uh, he had uh, Chronicles of Riddick was a movie, was popular, and they wanted to do a tie-in game, but they didn't want to do... You know what? As, as much as I just gave prequels kind of a hassle, I will say in video games it's a totally different beast, and I do appreciate that they didn't. Oh God! The killing you've taken. I do appreciate that they didn't just make a game that was uh, the movie. They tried to do something a little different. Come on, buddy! Come on! Yeah, shoot you in the own face! Yeah, that was a cool move the first time I saw it, but it is getting a little predictable now. But I will take it. Ooh, and five bullets. Don't mind if I do. Sewers. Could be a way out. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the gun now. Boom! I like this. Okay, we need to find somebody now to punish them with our gun. Um and does left trigger okay, left trigger butts. And the right trigger shoots now. So there is no aiming down sights yet. The Xbox didn't know about aiming down sights till uh, Call of Duty. It was an innovation mainly the Xbox 360. Um but anyway, yeah, I appreciate that they did a game that was a little different. They didn't just want to make the movie. They wanted to mix it up a bit. And so a prequel makes sense in this case, you know. And video games are like a totally different beast. Um, I don't know about you guys, but like... Like, honestly, okay. Having like well-known and respected and actors that I like in movies Locked. can sometimes make yeah. me enjoy movies more. Like, they're, I definitely enjoy actors when they're... They're in the movies that I like seeing them in, and there's certain actors that I just generally like. I think they're cool, and et cetera, et cetera, right? Like actors, it makes sense. They're actors that you like. Um, it doesn't do Locked. anything for me, I think, to have actors in video I'll games. Blast it off. Um, oh, wait, what, what's he saying? Blast it off? Let's try this. Boom! Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, now we're totally in the dark. The dark. My favorite. Do I have eyeballs? The flashlight attached to shotguns and rifles can be switched on and off by pressing the white button. So we don't have shined eyes yet, by the way. That's why he's not using his night vision. He doesn't have it. Um, but yeah, having, having like real actors in a video game, like having Vin Diesel in this game, honestly, doesn't do anything more for me than if he wasn't in this game. It's not like I'm playing this game like, wow, I can't believe I'm Vin Diesel. Or I can't believe Vin Diesel's in this game. It's like, um, yeah, it's kind of cool to hear his voice, but it also doesn't really make that big of a difference to me. Where, But, uh, you know, like, like nobody's going to go out and buy a video game because Tom Cruise is in it. But if Tom Cruise is in a movie, ah, oh, damn it, he will bring in, he will put butts in the seat, you know? Like, people will go to see movies based on having certain actors in it, but video games, it's not the same. And it was kind of cool when video games were first starting to introduce actors and like full motion video was kind of like a new concept and stuff. Like seeing actors for the first time in games. Um, oh God, oh God. <laughs> seeing actors for the first time in games, I was trying to hide in the dark by the way, was kind of cool, but I think these days, it uh, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, the one exception I will say is apparently the warden in this. Uh, is uh, Reginald Barkley from Star Trek The Next Generation, which is totally awesome. You guys remember Reginald Barkley? He was the one who had, like, the holodeck addiction, and he did what everyone would really do if they had a holodeck. He made, like, simulations of, like, all the, like, uh, women he knew from the ship, and he was just, like, this suave dude they were all in love with on the holodeck. And, like, all the guys, all his superiors were, like, wimps and stuff. Like, oh, their holodeck versions were. Oh, damn it. And he would just sort of, like, out-macho them on the holodeck to, like, you know, he would just live his fantasies on the holodeck. That's what people would really do at the holodeck if the holodeck was real. Um, 
So it's it's awesome that old Reginald Barkley is still getting work. Although I don't know if I buy him as the warden of some crazy space prison. Maybe I'm going to try and sneak by these guys. I've been trying to go like the gung-ho way. But I, I have to remember that Riddick is all about stealth. I don't have the stamina to... Uh... Oh god, okay. Hold on, let's switch back to fists. And when this guy comes back, we're totally going to grab him and break his neck. That's my plan. I can't see what's going on. Okay, here he comes. Staying hidden. Uh, is he coming? Oh, there he is. He's like walking right by me. Okay, I think he walked away. It's so hard to see where I am in the dark here. Oh, the hell with it. Let's, uh... Well, let's do this. Let's kill boom, boom, boom! Did I kill one? I think so. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay, turns out stealth is not the way to do that. Man, that's actually that's surprisingly hard. I wish I could turn the difficulty down now. Actually, I wonder. Can you just switch the difficulty on the fly in this? Let's see. Options. Um, game. Gore. You can turn the gore off if you want for some reason. That's like that's that's like what people's moms would do. They come and they'd be like, "This game is too gory. Let me see if there's a gore setting." Um, as if any mom was that sa savvy. You know, they put in things where you could turn gore off in, like, Mortal Kombat and stuff. Did anyone's parents out there ever actually do that? I feel like my parents would not even have known that was an option. You know, the idea that you could turn gore off in video games never would have occurred to them. Okay, we're going to grab this guy. Break his neck silently. You guys can't see what I'm doing, but neither can I. Oh, God. They see me, and they are trying to kill me. Okay, let's kill this guy. Did I get him? Nope. Oh, he did a barrel roll. He's trying to be fancy. Okay, I only have one cube of health left, which I don't like the sound of that. So, okay, you have different levels of cubes, and they're regenerative. Okay, we got him. The cubes will regenerate over time. Oh, we got, uh, we got like a concert ticket in the right there. It faded away. The cubes will regenerate over time. But, um, oh, look at all this ammo we're getting. But if you lose a whole cube, then I think it's gone for good. So, oh, God. Oh, right in the nads. Right in the nads. Oh, can we take an assault rifle? Can we? Can we? Can we? No, no. <laughs> he doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, maybe you can, but I can't figure it out. Okay, oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, oh that, that's an explosive barrel. That's why I'm dying. I'm hiding behind explosive barrels. Okay, we figured this part out. Um, we got this. We got this. <laughs> All right. So, pro tip, hiding, hiding behind explosive barrels is not good. But we can grab this guy. Break his neck in the dark. And then I th think we might even be able to sneak up on his friend here. Can't e I can't even fully see what I'm doing in the dark. Oh, yeah, look. Yes, we got him. <laughs> Probably for you guys right now, you're just seeing like a black screen. And oh, yep. Got a dead body. Yep, dead body, dead body. That's a barrel. Okay. Around the corner. Boom, boom! Yes. Oh, yeah, look, we retained both cubes. See, one cube is red. It's totally going to heal back up. Chink! All right. Keep your health cubes at full. It's a Gaming J uh, prison escape uh, suggestion. Okay, so that's an explosive barrel. That's an explosive barrel. So the explosive barrels... Boom! Oh, can be super handy. I think we just fried that guy. <laughs> okay. So shoot the barrels, I guess. There we go. Boom. All right. Oh, and look. And we're at the end. So we were we were right at the end of this level. We were just kind of getting stuck. He's like running to the light. Is he, is he dead? Is that like his tunnel of death? 
Um, I think we started the game with like four cubes, didn't we? Like, did I lose two cubes foolishly? Um, I could be wrong. I want to like rewind and later on to see where, see how many cubes I had. Um, All right, this is Sean and Jackass. All right, so is this a flashback? Come on. Like or a flash forward. Like, is this Johns? Is this the guy I already killed? Me some money. You might want to be careful with that, Johns. You could hurt somebody. Oh, he's nothing but attitude. You know, you always take me to the nicest places, Johns. I heard the food's good as well. I can't say I'm going to miss you, Riddick. Then don't. Wait. Up, uh, Johns. Didn't I already kill like that Johns? Still intact. He don't look all that happy to see you. This must be a flashback. Now play nice so we can get this over with quickly. It's Otherwise, I'm super confused as to what's happening right now. Secure your weapon, Johns. <laughs> Good to see you too, Warden. So the famous Mr. I like how his name is Johns. He's like a plurality of John. He's not one John. He is multiple Johns as man. Your ass. I on your ass. What? They're talking about his butt now. I'm over, Hoxie. You're not going to be a problem, are you, Riddick? Because my boys and I like solving problems. John said you were ugly up close. Wait, is that Reginald First Barkley? Time. I gotta agree with him. Hmm. Because if that's the it's warden, that's totally Reginald Barkley. Does not sound like the guy at all. Already trying to get under my skin, uh, Riddick. Be easier if I had something sharp. Ooh, the sharp wit, the barbs that are being passed I back and forth. Riddick about covers what you owe me, Johns. There's plenty other slams I can take Riddick to if you can't afford them. All right, whatever. And blah, 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 Johns ended up dying. Or something. I, I'm not yes, entirely clear what's happening here. You are now put to the prisoner 5421135-2. Remember the number. Remember the rules. My rules. Wait. No the title, the main title is now going. <laughs> okay, this is what you have. Well, this is what happens when you skip the uh, the opening uh, cinematics. I'm totally lost as the chronology of this game. I mean, obviously, people who know the game in the comments are gonna be like, "Jay, it's pretty obvious. It's this and this and this, and this is the order of things." Silly me, I guess I was playing the escape at the very beginning. So not only is this a prequel game, but they just showed him escaping prison. And now we have the main title. This game feels very cinematic, uh, which I guess makes sense considering it's supposed to be a cinematic game. Um, Alright. Uh, so, by, by the way, as well, besides just... Uh, oh, yeah, see, the, spo the surprise was spoiled. I was going to say, beyond, uh, beyond Reginald Barkley, apparently Ron Perlman is in this game as well. And we got movie-style uh, title credits. This is very weird for a video game. You rarely ever see this in video games. Like an opening title sequence like a movie. It's not, again, not totally bad, but it also feels a little unusual. I mean, I'm glad most games don't do this. I'm not against the odd game doing it. Um, John DiMaggio, that's Bender from Futurama. Uh, but but games and movies are like totally different beasts. I think that's why like like I'm watching this like ooh Joe DiMaggio Ron Perlman, and I I, I don't care. Um, I I like that Ron Perlman was in Fallout. He did a really good job as a narrator there, and maybe that's one case where not having him in the game would have changed the game a bit. But like he didn't add too much to the gameplay. You know like people go to movies to see the acting, you know because they're non-interactive mediums. Uh, but they play video games to in enjoy the gameplay. Act professional actors, I feel like, don't add anything to the gameplay itself. So I don't think they really add much to the game. I don't know. It, it seems mostly like a marketing gimmick these days to like include some big name actor in like your AAA game to like try and like sell more copies. But the game is just gonna, you know, nobody's gonna rate the game. You're like, well, the gameplay sucks, you know. But it had Jon Snow, so you know, we're gonna give it a pass. Like. The, the actors don't do anything for the game itself. You know what I mean? I don't know. I could be uh, also in old man crotchety mode right now. Just being incredibly outdated in my thoughts. I mean, I don't know. Weigh in on the issue, you know? Like, maybe, may, you know. Maybe you agree with me. Maybe you disagree. Feel free to leave a comment down below. We can try and figure this out together, guys. Uh, but yeah, do, do real actors being in video games do anything for you? Uh, I argue no. Generally. Uh, we, with the odd exception. And for the most part, I just play games for the gameplay. Okay, so that was basically just 
a non-interactive cutscene. I mean, it was somewhat interactive. We could tilt our head. Would you count that as interactive? I don't know. An indignity of slam life. Let's have mercs think they're in charge. That's their weakness. The foolish belief that they're in control. It'll be their downfall. Well, I mean, they are running the prison. I wouldn't say it's a f foolish belief. I mean, I literally live in a cell. I'm in solitary confinement, and all I can do is go to the toilet. Can we flush the toilet? Yes, we can. Look, that shadow is just pitch black. It's not even, like, a, a shade. They just... Maybe they didn't have enough rendering power on the Xbox to, like, make it transparent, but they were like, but we can't have people play as Vin Diesel and not see his shadow. The whole fun of being Vin Diesel, half the fun of it is seeing a shadow. Come talk to me for a second, will you? We're talking right now, aren't we? I mean, you can initiate the conversation as easily as I can, can't you, buddy? This is awkward. Okay, fine, you want me to do all the heavy lifting? You're Riddick, right? But there's a guy named Madsen talking like he knows you. He's in the courtyard just by the pit. Okay. That's what you had to tell me? <laughs> give, him a, give him a little uh, tenderizer there. Oh, no, they electrocuted me. Okay, not allowed to be violent, I guess. Oh, you failed the level? Oh, they throw you back in your cell. No fighting with the other inmates. I like how Riddick was like, they're downfalls. They think that they're in control. But in reality, oh, we put this guy up. Come on, man. I'm sorry. All right. He, the apology accepted. I bare my fist to him, and he's like, all right. Fair enough. All right, so this is one of these prisons where you're allowed to just freely roam. Uh, Garish? <laughs> New guy. Alright, so we're looking for somebody in the yard or something like that. I love these prisons where you're just allowed to, like, walk around. It's very much based on the honor system, you know. Eh, we could lock you in your cells every night, but... Eh, we don't want to be jerks about it. Listen, Riddick. Rust pulls all the strings in this block. Personally, I don't much care for that. He's a thorn on my side. You want my help, Riddick? Remove the thorn. Get Rust. Which one is Rust? You tell me that and I will... I will... I'll kill whoever you want, man. Like, I don't care. But, like, which one of these guys is Rust? So I guess now we gotta, like, go up to each of them and be like... Who are you? Matson? Hmm. <laughs> the pit. Looks like a way out. Looks like a very obvious way out. Can I go ahead and use this thing? Oh, I can, like, walk up it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have to have, like, very good balance to escape this prison. They're like, we don't lock anyone in their cells, and acrobats get a pass. Can you actually get out of the prison by just walking up this thing? It's actually very hard to do, but hold on. Got up pretty high, actually. Ugh. It's too hard to keep your balance. It's like one of those, like, carnival things. Where you have to sort of like uh, climb on that like uh, ladder that kind of droops left to right. And uh, if you like ring a bell, you win like a stuffed animal at the end. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, probably what I just said sounds like nonsense. Um, Alright. Well, who am I looking for? What was the guy's name again? I told, I've, I've forgotten already. Gersh? No. What's this guy's name? What, what's his name? Not the toilet. The, the man. The human. Wayman. Nah, that's not him. I'll know the name when I see it, but I've totally f forgotten it. F all the blue skins. Blue skins? Okay, I hope it's the barber. Nah, his name's Barber. Man, what are the odds? Is it this guy, Jimbo? No, that wasn't it. Michaels. Johns, Michaels. Everyone's a plural. Boulder. You won't ever walk into the infirmary, punk. Maybe we'll drag you in when Rust is finished. Oh, Rust. That's the guy I got to kill. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, like, F-bombs in this prison. These guys, these guys do not respect being polite. This is Rust area. Okay. It's the Kozart brothers, a.k.a. the Torture Twins. Locked down yesterday. Managed to get hold of some poor side, obviously. Okay, thanks for that random info. Okay, seriously, where is this rust guy? Is he hiding? Do like all the other fish. Line up behind. Okay, if I could find the guy, maybe I would. 
He's very elusive. I, I'm beginning to think he doesn't exist. I'm beginning to think he's just a figment. What are you looking at? Go play with the twins or something. I'm looking at you, you hot hunk of man beef just lying there on the, on the cot like that. You wanna do me a favor? Uh, alright, what do you have to I don't right? do favors. Tell me <laughs> Wanna do me a favor? No, Listen, but what is the it? moment Molina's <laughs> lockdown expires, I wanna see him dead. Dead and killed. That's what I want you to do. You come back to me when he's dead. Oh, kill someone. Oh, well that's pretty easy. Help woman, looks like woman, by killing Molina. Okay. Where's Molina? Where's Rust? You guys want me to kill someone? At least tell me where to go. Okay, let's see. He's one of these guys. Coin Jack. This is the guy that gave me the mission, I'm pretty sure. Red. And Charlie Green. Who's this guy? Booger. That is disgusting, man. You need a new name. Got a problem, huh? Huh? Go fuck yourself. Well, that's very impolite, Booger. I did not expect anything less, though, I guess. What happened to this guy? Charlie Green. He's just full on. You're just napping right there, eh? I'm trying to casually walk up this thing. Ah! Talking about me? Never was. Oh, this is the guy who's talking oh, yeah. about me. No, 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 I mean, I heard you were coming. You're going to want a shiv and I can get you one. Check my bunk and you'll find one. It's yours. Hey, where's your bunk? Dude, where's the bunk? I mean, they've locked you in this, like, small area, so obviously there's only a couple things you can do. Which is fine, you'll figure it out eventually, but, like, a little direction would be nice. Okay, is this his bunk? This is bunk. Oh, what the heck? Oh, who are these punks? Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Stop hitting me, man! Okay, now we hit him. Guard. Punch. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Punch. Oh, there we go. We beat your friend to death. Now what? Huh? Now what? Now there's nowhere to hide. Oh, we beat you you too. And guess what? We're going to flush That's your face in the toilet. <laughs> Obviously works for rust. But he'll turn when I tighten the screws. Are these guys dead or what? Okay, I don't think I have to do this, but I kind of want to like leave them in a compromising position. That's Riddick style. Not only will he kill you, but he'll leave you looking like, uh... You know, you guys, you guys were getting into it together. All right, now time to go, like, just strangle this guy. All right, buddy. Nice try to uh, kill me. It was Rust. He forced me to. But, but I knew those goons were no match for you. I'll get you a shift to set things right. You have my word. Cross me again, and I'll have your life. Talk. Yikes. I'll bring that shift to your cell. Just kill. Just go there and wait. You're just gonna send more guys to beat me up. But guess what? I'm gonna kill them and then leave them in more compromising positions. Alright, so go back to my cell and wait for a hand-delivered shiv. Yeah, what could go wrong with this plan? What in the F you think you're doing? <laughs> what could go wrong? You are messing with the natural order of things, Riddick. People can get hurt. Or worse. <laughs> People can get hurt. I literally beat two guys, pre I'm pretty sure to death, earlier today. I'm not worried about some guy who betrayed me. Rust is waiting for you in the Achilles block. He won't stop till you're dead, so you better find a weapon. Waman can help. I had no idea this game involved so much, like, kind of RPGing, you know? Like, I thought it was going to be, like, just a stealth shooter adventure game but here we are like kind of like running side quests and stuff definitely not what i was expecting for chronicles of riddick everyone wants to kill rust like where is he oh look another cell block opened up maybe he's over here it said to get a weapon before i encountered him but like i don't know where to find a weapon i don't even know if i'm going towards him to be totally honest Territory. You don't belong there. Oh. He's here. Riddick is here. Riddick is here. Riddick is here. Come on, buddy. Boom. Boom. Oh, man. He's like blocking everything. Oh, we got him. There we go. 
Oh, so you can like grab his hand as he goes to punch you. Interesting. Oh, this guy has like brass knuckles. Kill him already, Riddick! What are you doing, man? All right, we killed him. Oh, and look, knuckle duster. I will take it. All right, so is this like adventuring into like a dungeon, basically? <laughs> We're like, oh, look at this thing. Oh, is that good for me, or I feel like that maybe healed me? All right, let's beat up a couple more dudes, and then, uh... oh, ow, what the? Oh, he's got a knife. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. Quick, beat him to death. Beat him to death quickly. Ugh. Fast. This is this is like very deadly. There we go. All right. Now where where does knife go? Cuz that's that's what I want. Where does knife go? Where does knife go? Where does knife go? Boom, a shiv. All right, we now we're now armed with a shiv. Try and heal ourselves again. Ah, see, yes, I, I knew we had four bars of health before. I, I don't know what the the med bot is saying when it heals me. All right, they said arm yourself before you go over here. I'm just picking up the weapons of the people I'm killing. So I don't know where I was supposed to get a weapon, but uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, guys. Waiting for my my last bar of health to regenerate. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we're slicing these guys to pieces. Okay, it turns out brass knuckles are uh, no match for a shiv. We pick up loose shivs. So I guess we only need one. All right. So all I need is like a little butter knife, and I can slice these guys up like they're cheddar cheese. Okay. How about I just straight up. Cut you to pieces, buddy. Ow. Now my last cube of health! Ah, oh, there we go. We straight up killed him. <laughs> that, that didn't take much effort at all. So this is a beast of Butcher Bay, huh? Head of their killing gang. How am I not in more trouble with the guards, I wonder? I literally stabbed an inmate. Looks death. like I need a new rooster. You interested? They respect you now, Riddick. What, they're promoting me within the prisoner ranks? Say something. I take that as a no. Saying no to me is not the kind of mistake you want to make. Okay, I'm confused. I got into no trouble for killing a guy. Can I kill these guys? Probably not a good idea to engage in uh, armed conflict with the guards. Vermin. How'd you get that name, buddy? Not, not a cool prison nickname. I'm like, I don't know what happened to him. He was dead when I got here. Moondog. Roman rules. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, I, uh, this game is not entirely what I expected. I think I was... Oh, God. Okay. Sure. How about, can I just leave peacefully? I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna walk away. What's happening? Show yourself! Okay, straight up. Let's let's just kill these guards. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we're we're killing guards now. Oh, prisoners are coming to their defense. I don't understand the allegiances in this. I didn't get in any trouble from the guard for killing another prisoner, and now we're just killing this guy, Knuckle Duster. I don't know what's happening, man. Where's that cell that healed me? I forget it. <laughs> okay, so this game is not what I expected. It's it's. Interesting and odd. So it's a bit more of an RPG than I thought. Let's kill this guy too. Why not? Turns out leaving you guys alive does nothing. I, I don't get in any serious trouble for killing you. Oh, and I'm dead. I don't know. An interesting game. I guess I could see how this could get more sophisticated the further you go. Um, I did read that they originally had more RPG elements in this game, and then they sort of toned it down to be a little okay. more action-y. Um, I don't 100% get it, I think I would say. But I kind of I see potential here, so it's an interesting action adventure slash RPG st type game. Um, so you not only have to sort of fight your way through guards and stuff, but you actually have to have like conversations and do. do little quests yeah. and kind of like I guess work your way through different problems and so on. So kind of an interesting idea. Um, Chronicles of Riddick here. 
is one of the games in the book. Oh god, okay. Wait, that guard was chasing the prisoner. I killed the guard and then the prisoner attacked me. I don't know what's going on in this game. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, this is one of the games in the book. A thousand one video games you must play before you die. Um, in terms of thinking about that, I actually, you know what? I was I was hesitant about this game because I thought it might just be something where they like plopped a Hollywood actor into a mediocre game and, uh, you know, we're trying to make some money. I mean, they, they of course were trying to make some money. Oh, God. But what's, well, what are the rules in this prison? A guy, there's a guy who's stapled to the wall. His head has been chopped off. Is anyone worried about this? Is, is this within the rules? Is this allowed? I don't even know. Um, but, so I thought it was just sort of like a, a fad game. Um, oh, God. So don't, don't carry a shiv in open sight in the courtyard. All right. Noted. I guess I'll switch to fists. Uh, but it, it's there's actually more of a game here than I thought. There's actually more of a game here than I thought. So it's kind of interesting. So um, I'm not sure if I would classify this as like something that's so good that you've definitely got to play. But definitely thinking, I, you know what? I feel like I say that more and more and more about games these days. Oh, damn. I just really want to get up there sometime. I think the truth is probably for 99% of the games in the book, None of them are must plays, uh, in the sense of like, uh, you know, I don't think anyone must play any particular game, to be totally honest, when you really think about it. But there's certainly ones that I would recommend more than others. So let's just think about like, you know, is this a game worth recommending? I definitely think it, it actually might be. Um, even though we're still early in the game, we've seen a little bit of it. We've seen an action sequence and guns and stuff. We've actually, we've are, we've also seen RPG elements and little quests and stuff. So there, there's more here than at first seems. And so if you like these sort of, uh, exploratory type games, uh, if you like games that have story and plot, because this game, you know, went out of its way to include a Hollywood actor and some, some, you know, decent writing and stuff, apparently. Um, and if you like, like, reasonable action games... Uh, and like stealth games and you know I think you might find something interesting here um, as for me I think despite the fact that I find it a little intriguing it's probably not something that I would finish so I don't have any regrets about not playing it back in the day it seems kind of interesting as like an Xbox game and it's it's a little different than other games that are kind of similar that you might find out there but at the same time you know oh we almost made it to the top I just want to make it to the top that'd be awesome uh, at the same time, it's just sort of not my cup of tea per se. Um, I think that's another factor as to why I uh, am calling it here. What is wrong with this guy? Instead of going further, let's just beat him to death. Come on, Charlie. I'm gonna freaking murder you. How, does, how do they know Charlie didn't start the fight? And why don't they like to cute him is what I want to know. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Chronicles of Riddick. My kind of muddled, uh, murky thoughts. What do you guys think of this game? Is it a game that you yourself had played before? Uh, do you know it well? Are there insights you can offer us? Can you give us a more in-depth idea of what the game is like in later stages? Um, or is it a game you've never heard of? And uh, if you haven't, what do you think of it after seeing me play around with it here today? Curious to know your th your first impressions. Uh, you've heard mine. What are your first impressions? Um, whatever your thoughts may be about this game, hopefully... Um, I have made today entertaining. If I have uh, entertained you and you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to be subscribed because uh, we got plenty more games from that book. Um, even though even though I rarely say this is a must play, there are must plays in the book. Um, and uh, even, even games that aren't must plays I think are interesting. Like I, I'm glad that we checked this game out today. Um, I found it interesting and I do like Vin Diesel uh, as an actor. Uh, some of the characters he's played I've enjoyed. And... You know, th this game is not hampered at all for having him in it. It definitely doesn't feel like the kind of game where they just squished an actor into, like, uh, a game and put out something incredibly rushed and crappy. It actually feels like the developers tried to do something with this game, and, they, you know, they're trying to make a good game. just happened to have Vin Diesel, so, um, yeah. Anyway, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. Don't get trapped in any intergalactic prisons, and if you do, remember, stab the biggest guy to death and then refuse the guard's offer of, uh, I don't know, becoming the top rooster, whatever he said. I, I don't know. I, again, I still don't understand the rules of this prison, but whatever. Whatever they are, I think I'm doing just fine by prison standards. Um, and you all take care of yourselves, and uh, peace.
like I need a new rooster. 